All right, guys. Um, I've got only a few minutes. It's late at night. I gotta get to bed. I'm currently in Nashville at uh, an event called Funnel Hacking Live. It's put on my ClickFunnels. If you if you're all familiar with that. Um, oh man, so many cool thoughts today. Just can't even. I don't know where to start. So. Number one, I had this massive breakthrough yesterday that was um, was just super powerful for me, and I wanted to share with you guys a little about this. Is kind of this is kind of a little bit vulnerable, a bit personal for me, but um, but I consider those that listen to this to be my friends, and um, just want to share this cool experience with you. So, money has always, with the exception of two periods in my life, seemed to kind of come fairly easily for me. Um. And those two periods of my life were really, really rough. <laughs> like, you know, like um, literally digging through couch cushions looking for extra change to buy gas, kind of rough. But um, I realized yesterday that I was doing okay, right? Like I'm getting by, like I'm making money, but I wanted to do more, you know? I, I, I wanted to like have massive impact. I didn't want to just make, you know, a few grand a month. I wanted to make a hundred grand a month and I really felt bogged down. It was this odd thing. I just kind of felt like, man, I'm like, I feel like I'm trapped. I feel like I just don't know what to do. And I was like, and I realized, and I've told you this before, I believe all things are emotional, right? At the end of the day, like if something's not working, it's because something emotionally is not firing right. And I started thinking about like, okay, man, what's going on inside? And I'll tell you what, I had one of the most honest conversations myself I ever had. I said, okay, Brunson, what's going on, man? And I opened up and I was just, okay, Brunson, like, what do you really feel? Why are you so afraid to make all this money? Because I realized it was like there was some weird fear. And I finally like it hit me. I, I started just going through my mind. I started just opening up like, you know, being open to my feelings. And as I did, I just had this feeling of like I felt guilty. I felt like I was like, man, I, I feel like things weren't hard enough, you know, or like for some reason I had some weird belief like shouldn't this be harder, you know? Some people like, cause I, I compared to stories where like, yeah, it was 10 years. I ate nothing but ramen noodles and I just ground every day and this happened, this happened, this happened. And I was like, and I started to like honestly analyze my life. I'm like, hey, I've already been through some rough times. I did have it where I was barely getting by. I did have these suffering things. Like, I'm like, well, it wasn't like I just didn't do everything just right. And so I don't know if I've earned it yet. And like, I started to have all these crazy thoughts. I'm like, whoa, like what's going on here? And I found I had this huge perfectionism inside me that was saying, hey, Brunson, you can't do it because. You didn't do everything just right. You didn't follow the perfect pattern of all entrepreneurs. You didn't like have this crazy stuff happen to you. And you like, you know, you didn't get struck by lightning 16 times. And then you didn't have, you know, like you didn't lose both your legs. And like, I kind of almost thought like, I don't deserve this. Cause like people that, you know, they always have all this horrible triumph or this horrible backstory. I'm like, my life's been pretty good. And it was funny. I realized that's what it was. That's what really was holding me back was I was like, I just didn't feel like it was right for me to have it come so easily. And then the thought just hit me. I'm talking like right to the heart. It was like, maybe your life is not about years of suffering. Maybe your life is about giving. Everyone has a different story. Everyone has like a different thing. Some people, they fight and fight and fight for years and years. And one day they figure it all out and it all comes together. Other people, it's just different. And for me, I be, I've begun to think that maybe my job is to, is to, is to influence and to lead a, a mission um, to youth and to young people that they can do greater things. And maybe what I need to do is get, you know, get through this. I listened to someone today, they made their first million in five months. And I'm like, hmm. And now they're able to make massive impact. There wasn't a huge sob story behind it. I'm just like, hey, just I decided one day it was time to commit. And I committed and I got it done. And now they go around the world and they just change lives. I'm like, maybe, I was like, that's what it is for me. I feel like God, I mean, I don't know what you believe in, Whoever's listening, you know, to my friends out there listening. But I'll tell you what, I, I believe in God. And I believe that literally he gave me gifts so that I could make a difference in my life. Because he knew how happy that would make me. And I think he's someone who wants me to be happy. Anyways, I really do believe that's why I do what I do. I believe that every good thing that's ever happened in my life was someone that I'm not seeing who's leading me down a road where I can really have impact. And I can really fulfill my mission, which is to educate the world and change the world through education and change the world through giving people the right tools to really make an impact in their own communities and around their own friends. And that's what it's about. And it just, oh man, guys, when this hit me, it was like, it was an emotional thing. Like I literally was just like, whoa, 
That's it. That's what I've been waiting for is it's not about me. It's not about me. It never has been. It's about this. It's about these podcasts. It's about the it's about the conferences that I haven't spoken at yet. It's about the the youth that I haven't met yet. It's about the lives that I haven't changed yet. And for me, it's getting to this point where I can be like, hey, I'm financially free. And as soon as I'm financially free, man, the world is just open. I can go travel the world. I can go back to Russia as a place that I really love. I spent two years of my life there. I can go back there and finally make the impact there that I always wanted to make. And not have to be like, oh man, can I budget enough to like live there? Uh, how can I afford this? I'm like, hey, no, not a, not a question anymore. It's about the mission. It's about what I believe in. So anyways, I, I don't know if that's of any value to you guys, but that was my, my experience yesterday. And guys, it was, it was just awesome. It was awesome. It was this amazing aha moment. And it was like something unlocked in me. It was like, okay. It's like I gave myself permission. You like It was like Brunson, you now have permission to be successful. Not a little bit successful, but I'm talking like massive successful. And it's going to take time to reinforce those beliefs. I, I talked to a guy today. He's, <laughs> I think he's, uh, he's actually, I think, getting an award. We'll see tomorrow. Um, but he's, I, think he's, I think he's the guy that's going to win this award. Essentially, it's called the nine, it's a nine-figure award. Essentially saying he's made at least $100 million, <laughs> right? And we, I talked to him a little bit today and I was like, hey, so like, what do you do every day, man? And he's like a big thing. And he told me a bunch of different things. He's like, but one thing I do every day is I reinforce the belief that I make a million dollars a month. I'm like, oof, well, that's kind of cool. Like, I'm all about that, making a million dollars a month. And he's like, no, 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 I've been doing that for five years now. I started doing that way back when, when it was like, you know, back when, back when, way before I even was making any money, I was reinforcing this belief that, hey, this is how much money I make. I was like, wow, okay. And so that kind of struck me as well. I was like, I need to reinforce this belief. He's like, the subconscious man listens. Subconscious believes whatever you tell it. I'm like, wow, okay. And I realized in that moment, I have the power. I hold the pen that writes the story of my life. And the story that I'm writing is Brunson got going on this and got to his mission as quickly as possible. And that's that's it. So, my friends, that's the story for today. Um, and and we'll we'll talk to you tomorrow, I hope.